During photosynthesis, oxygen, which is essential for survival of living beings, is released. Also, chlorophyll-containing cells of leaves in presence of sunlight use carbon dioxide and water to synthesize carbohydrates. This process can be expressed as an equation. Carbohydrates produced during process of photosynthesis gets converted into starch. The presence of starch in leaves indicates the occurrence of photosynthesis. For this purpose, we can perform iodine test as follows. Take two plants of different kinds. Put green plant in dark for 72 hours and brown plant in sunlight. After 72 hours, put some ethyl alcohol in a beaker and place that in a saucepan full of water. Heat the pan until ethyl alcohol begins to boil. Remove from heat. Then dip leaves of each plant in the hot water for 60 seconds. Then place them in the beaker of ethyl alcohol for 2 minutes or until they turn almost white. Set them each in a shallow dish. Cover the leaves with iodine solution and watch. Iodine is an indicator that turns blue-black in the presence of starch. You will observe the leaf that was in light will turn blue-black which demonstrates that the leaf has been performing photosynthesis and producing starch and the other leaf will be reddish-brown. This shows that leaves other than green also have chlorophyll. The large amount of brown color masks the green color. Photosynthesis takes place in these leaves also. Other components of food like proteins and fats also get synthesized like carbohydrates. Proteins are nitrogenous substances composed of nitrogen. You all must be wondering from where nitrogen comes in plants. Nitrogen is present in air in gaseous forms in large amounts. And plants have certain bacteria that convert gaseous nitrogen present in air to usable form and release it to soil. So usable nitrogen is absorbed by plants along with water. In this way, plants can synthesize protein.